Hi! Today for our Team Take and Make, I'm going to show you how to turn a old book into, to repurpose it, into some a cute little hedgehog. Alright, you are going to need some glue, some scissors, and some patience. A lot of patience and nimble hands. Alright, we will start off right away. So first we're going to take an old discarded book take off any of the extra covers. Then we're actually going to take physically take off the cover. So if you have a hard cover book, you probably have to do a slit on the side to get that off. Well, it's going to be a tough one. There we go. Take the hard cover off. If you have a soft cover book, that is going to be much easier. Now, we're going to start by taking off the first few pages. Four pages off the front. You can save them for later. And four pages. Oh, this is the front. A few pages up back or front and save them for later. That's going to make them, you are going to use them for decorations. Now we're going to decide on which is our front and which is our back of our hedgehog. So this is, I'm going to make this side the head and I'm going to make this side the tail. And the first few pages we are going to take and fold inward. First you're going to take it, fold it directly Make a triangle so it's flush with the spine. So, just with the first few. And then in half, flush with the spine. So you have a. Okay, that's the first one. I'm gonna do the second one, you can do the same way. Make yourself. Triangle facing in of the book, and then fold the sky like so. First two. Now we're going to do it the opposite way. We're going to take this corner, we're going to tuck it in so it's flush with the spine. Like that, make our first triangle, and in, so that's flush with the spine. And we're just going to keep doing that for the first little bit. There we go. Just to make that even. So now we have that what we're going to start as the head of our porcupine, but we also want to make a bum to the porcupine. So we're going to take a pen or a pencil and you're going to make a mark a little ways down from your back side. I'm going to make mine right there just over halfway. It's just going to help us out try to be consistent. And we're going to take our first two pages and we're going to fold them to make a right angle triangle right where that mark is. I'm going to make it pretty consistent. So, there we go. One and two. And then these ones we're going to fold back with this way. Right, you're going to look where that line is. Fold it in, and we want to make it a right angle, and another one, Now I find it easiest to do a whole bunch on one side and then go back to the other. So we're going to 
make sure it lines up. Oh. Alright, well I'm going to keep folding. And, well you're going to keep folding. I have already gotten quite far on a different one. So this is what it looks like at about halfway. As you can see, I have done a whole bunch of just the heads, but I have a whole bunch of the back sides still to do and it's making a nice curve in the back it's okay if they are not quite even and I'll just keep on going so that you guys can see what it looks like in our final project Okay, so now I've gotten to this point here and he's looking like he's starting to get a little bit poofy. So I'm going to just cut out the last few pages. I'm going to take my X-Acto knife, or you can use your scissors, and I'm going to carefully... We're going to take those over, and there is our hedgehog. All right, so now that we've got them all made up, we're going to have to decorate him. And you can use some white glue, or you can use your glue gun, whichever one you want. I have some different options here. I found this nice flower to give him some decorations. And I've got googly eyes, I found myself some buttons, I've got a little pom-pom here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the pom-pom on for his nose. The other thing that we had done earlier, we had pulled some papers off of the front and the back of the book, I'll go like this, or we can cut some, I'm just going to take a pen here and draw a little That kind of looks like spikes. Let's see how this one looks. Obviously, it's a little bit big. I'm going to have to make it a bit smaller. Use my pencil here. My pen to find the right size and then oh yeah that's cute so I'm going to do a couple of those what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace them onto you can make as many as you want. Spikies. 
sitting on hedgehog. I think I need another one. my flower go there and if I want I can put a flower on them you can maybe make them Christmassy whatever kind of decorations you want and then you've got yourself a good cute 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 little hedgehog all right I look forward to seeing them